open back so in this part of the video we we well in the last part we were able to see our data from the api the usc that you see here is not hard coded it's it's the data from behind right here from the api so what we're going to do here we're going to create the card so you can actually see cards in each of them and then we're going to use flexbox so let's get started i'm going to create a component called card dot tsx and then so in the card though we will need we'll need some data so we can say import does do we have a css over here import we don't no we don't so let's create a css file call it index.css so inside here we're going to say index.css we're going to create a card called const card so now the the card is a j it's going to return a jsx element obviously um the card is going to take a data we're going to pass it something called data we don't really know what that data is going to be yeah i'm not sure but whatever it is i'm just going to give it any for now for now then we're going to return oh we don't have to use the word return we, we es6 one line now we can say we can say data dot map and then um what do we want to map out of the card so let's go to our interface we need to create a card prop as well so we can know what we are passing out let's go to our interface let's create a card prop export interface card props so we can so the card would have data like this all of this basically we want the cards to have province confirmed recovered deaths and active all of those things should be in the card so we can again we can reuse a bunch of some of these things depending on how we write them but i'm doing this this way intentionally so not to add confusion upon my explanation so we don't need the data store right now so we just created a card prop we can import that card prop from our interface okay so what data are we getting that we passing here we saw it already it was <clears throat> let me just close some of this it was province confirmed recovered and deaths so province confirmed recovered and deaths province is one of the data confirmed recovered and deaths and these are from card props And then we can say data that map. What else do we need? Um, we can create a. Um, I'm, I'm just thinking it through. Div. So what is going on here? Is my is in my card props saved? interesting export default card okay I see why I see why let me just remove this there we go outside here 
our props. That should be fine. I believe so. Let's see. Okay, this is fine. So this is my map. Oh. So this one is the map. This one is here. There we go. Oh, it's confusing. So we can say div. And then inside the div, what do we want? We want an H2. Because we, um, we already have an H1 here. We will talk a little more about accessibility in, in the next video, actually. I think I skipped over how to make this more accessible. That's fine. I'm intuitively doing that. So we want the province to show here. And then we want to create a, an ordered list. And inside each inside this list, we can we can say let's create a span. We can say confirm cases. Confirm cases, we can say this would be confirmed. And then we can two, three, and this one we, we can call it recovered cases. And this we call it recovered, and this we call it depth. And then this would be the debt. All right, so this is good. We need to create some CSS for this, is, but let's see how it looks first. Before, we, oh, this is a card, so we need to give it a key, by the way. For each card, we can give it the province, can be the, the key. We gotta create a class, which we'll, we would do class name. Call the card. Okay, this is good. This is good. So let's save this. Let's create the CSS for this. So you guys can see how this actually looks like in the in in um let's see in the UI card. So we can give the card a width of about let's say 25 percent padding everything inside the card should be about 10 pixels what else each card can be separated from each other in all positions 10 pixels and then we want to give a box shadow as always box shadow so the left zero the up maybe what did I use before? I think it was four pixels and then eight pixels and then zero and then the color. Um, it's, it's still white, but slightly. Maybe 0 0.3, two. Okay, 0 0.2 works. That's fine. Okay, so this is good. This is good information for the card okay so now we have the card so now we want to show the card on the screen that's what we want to do and then once we show the card on the screen then we, we probably would have to do some more CSS for how it's gonna look so let's import the card from the components card from okay here we go so card so remember we said we were passing card some data so what data are we passing the card basically what data are we going to pass the card so we need to figure that data out so let's create 
let's create a, a use state variable over here so we can say let's say response and then we can say set response and response is actually in the, the the data that comes in that we want to put here is the data that comes from the API COVID data. So we can it's it's an array of objects. We can bring the the to do the COVID interface that we made here. We can use that, or we can just use array of objects. This is. array of objects there we go and then the response would be the data but we have to set it to be the provinces because we saw how the data looks like in the postman it's all of this let's make this bigger this is the data but what we want is just the province right here that's all this is all we want we don't want the other information so what we can do is over here we'll say set response and then we can say provinces if it exists give it if it doesn't exist empty array there we go this is good now let's see how the card looks There we go. Here's the card. It goes all the way down. All the states. But this is not how we want it. So I'm going to stop the video here because it's recording. So that's why it, there's some lagging time. So we have the confirmed cases, recovered cases, and then the deaths. So let's go to the card and we can say cases. We spelled it wrong. Let's see. Let's refresh. Cases. Okay, beautiful. So on the next video, we're going to use CSS to style this up to make it aligned. And then we're going to talk a little about accessibility.